Hello guys, Claudius here. Just giving a quick guide to anyone looking to seriously get into endgaming as Summoner. Now as a main summoner I have many equip sets and I'll break down the majority of these but exclude the unnecessary ones such as heal sets. I will first go into the refresh idol and avatar idol sets. This one here is activated by the pet release macro which will swap into a refresh set. Here you want to add as many refresh pieces as you can for the job. Also, any movement speed gear can be added, such as the Herald Gators. This set is mainly for replenishing MP and town strolling. This is what I call the Avatar Idol set. It creates the perfect balance of refresh, Avatar perp cost down, and blood pack delay down. Great for keeping your blood pack timer at the minimum, as well as minimizing any MP loss. Now here comes the fun part, blood pack damage. I'll first start with the physical set. You'll want a stack of mix of pet accuracy, pet attack, and lots of blood pack damage plus gear. Moving on to the magical blood packs now. Here you will need a mix of pet magic attack bonus, pet magic accuracy, and blood pack damage plus gear. Remember guys, the regular magic attack bonus gear will not work for your avatar. I have seen too many people new to summoner that make this mistake. Now a recent mistake I made myself concerning blood pack boards was realising for years I had macroed the wrong set. I saw a huge change once I corrected it. Simply all you have to do is stack as much summoning magic skill as you can for this set. Every one skill over the cap adds one second of the duration to your wards. Having a magic accuracy set for your avatar is crucial for in-game content to ensure that your avatar sleeps and enfeebles land. Try to mix as much pet magic accuracy and summoning magic skill as possible for this set.
Now onto a fairly taboo equip set, the melee summoner. This can be fairly difficult to create due to the limited options, but it can be pulled off effectively if you like to spam skill chains and magic bursts solo for some very nice damage. The aim here is to keep your blood pack timer gear mixed with player accuracy, multi attack and store TP gear ensuring that your weapon skill to blood pack skill chain you should reach enough TP again before your blood pack timer is ready. Don't forget guys your apogee ability has a recast of 3 minutes, throw in an extra magic burst when it's up. Before I forget, it really helps to have a fast cast set for summoning your avatars. And this can also be coupled very well with Apogee to create insane skill chains with two separate avatars. Thanks guys for watching my quick guide to endgame summoner. It's my first video doing something like this, so please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Also don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.